Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to be doing part two of the first video uh, that helps us age our deer by tooth wear and replacement. Uh, if you have watched the first video, I showed you a quick way to remove a jawbone with just a knife and then how to categorize that deer into an age group, which would be just a fawn, which is under a year old, a yearling, which is between one and two years old, and then anything two and a half years old or older. That was completed by something that we call tooth replacement. And today we're going to be discussing something on how to age a deer through tooth wear, which can help us identify deer that are two and a half years and older. So we try to go between two and a half to five and a half, and if you're lucky, you can you can figure out six and a half. Uh, but we're going to do all that today on today's video. So here we go. <laughs> So in the first video, I broke down individual jaw bones that let us understand the difference between a fawn, a yearling, and anything that's two and a half years old or older. To quickly recap, any deer that has under six teeth on one side of the jawbone, we would label that as a fawn. As they get older and they get to year and a half, they get six teeth. Uh, then we start to look at that third tooth from the front, which is called the P3, the P standing for premolar. If this tooth has only three crests on it or has three crests on it, we know it's the baby form of that tooth and that deer's only a year and a half old. If it's the adult tooth or the permanent tooth, then it has two crests and we know that deer is at least two and a half years old or older. So next what we would do is take a look at our M1, which is the fourth tooth from the front. As you look at this tooth from above, what we're looking at and what we're looking for is the dentine in the enamel, okay? So the enamel is just like in a human. It's the white outer uh, clearing covering of the tooth. That layer that's below that is called the dentin or the dentine, depending on who's pronouncing it. I'm gonna call it the dentine for today. Um, so as we look at a deer's tooth, uh, from above and, and what we want to look at is, is these peaks that are the closest side of the tongue So when we start to look at these teeth We want to want to look at this side of the of the mouth and of the jawbone to look and pay attention to the dentine in the enamel The enamel will be the white clear outside edge and the dentine is going to be that darker brown color That's in the middle. So we take a look at our first one. It's got one two three four teeth We know that that's a fawn because it has less than six teeth total if we look at this one, this one has six teeth, right? Sometimes it can be hard to you know, decide if, it, if that's a whole tooth, if that's one, if that's two. Um, so you can look at it from above or look at it from the inside. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six teeth, right? So then we're gonna look at the third one from the front, the P3. This has three crests. If you look at it just like that, three crests here, we know that this deer is only a year and a half old. Now, if we took one that has two crests, see how this only has one, two, or one, two, as opposed to the three, we know that we now have a deer that is at least two and a half years old. So what we now need to do is something that we call tooth wear. After we get from two and a half, we need to know if this deer is just two and a half, if it's three and a half, if it's four and a half, so on and so forth. So what we're gonna do is turn this tooth and this jawbone vertically, so to speak. Go to that fourth tooth, okay? Once we go to this fourth tooth or the M1, what we wanna look at is this crest on the inside. This is, this is gonna be the side of the tongue, this is gonna be the outside. So we wanna look at the crest that uh, will be tongue side. Um, so what we have here is the inside here, we have a dark line and then the outside is the white. The outside's called the enamel, that inside that dark line is called the dentine. If the dentine is significantly wider than the outside, the white out, outside edge, then we add a year. But looking at this, because it, the dentine is no wider than the outside, and actually the enamel is significantly wider than the dentine, we don't add that and we go back to the age that it was before we got to that tooth, which was two and a half, because it has six teeth, the third tooth has two crests, we don't add a year for that, so it's gonna stay a two and a half year old. So here's one that I would consider a three and a half year old, and it looks like I might have right wrote two and a half on it. Um, I, I'm gonna personally think that I'm, I'm wrong in this situation. Uh, you get a little bit better over time as you do this. So these, these jaw bones are probably, oh, three, four years old. Um, and I've been using these for a little while now. So I look back, six teeth, right? It's got the P3 as a, as a permanent tooth. So just like the two and a half that we just did, we're gonna look at this M1. This layer of dentine is significantly wider than the enamel. So we're gonna add a year, which would make this a three and a half. The next thing that we do is look at the next tooth up, which is your M2. Now that dentine does not and is not significantly wider 
than the enamel. So we do not add a year. We keep this right here at a three and a half year old deer. So now this one may be difficult to see, but this jawbone, the dentine is actually still a little white because I think I scrubbed a lot of it off uh, as I was cleaning this jawbone. But we go down here, first M1, the inside is significantly wider than the outside. The dentine is wider than the enamel. So that's gonna be at least a three and a half. We look at the next one. That dentine is also significantly wider than the outside. So we're gonna add the year. That's gonna make it a four and a half. We look at the M3 right here. This dentine is not wider than the enamel. So we're gonna go back to the age before that, which is a four and a half. So this deer, we're gonna label a four and a half year old buck. All right, so this next one here, we've got six teeth, right? We go to the M1, the dentine is significantly wider than the outside. We're gonna make that at least three and a half. Then we're gonna look at the next one. The dentine, the inside is significantly wider than the outside. That is gonna be at least a four and a half because the answer is yes. So then we're gonna look at the M3. The dentine there as well is also significantly wider than the outside enamel, which would make this at least a five and a half. Additionally, with a four and a half year old, the back cusp of the M3 will begin to show wear. At five and a half years old, this will begin to slant heavily towards the cheek side of the deer. At six and a half years old, it can be like really hard to depict, but what you can see on that back side of that cusp is it begins to create like a bowl. And also you'll see a lot of significant wear on the P1 through three. So uh, M1, M2, M3, and the cusp of the M3 nearly cupped or like a bowl, you can say that that deer is gonna be at least a six and a half or older. Uh, once you get out past that, it's very hard to tell through tooth wear exactly how old that deer is going to be. The actual accuracy and percentage, I, I don't know it exactly off the top of my head, but I think it's like three and a half is close to 80%. Once you get to four and a half, it's like 60%. And five and a half and older is, is even down to 40% uh, accurate based off tooth wear. And they do that basically by, you know, knowing a deer's age, which I've also done a video on this. It's called cementum annuli. And that involves taking the front two incisors right here that involves taking these front two incisors which this one is a very old deer um, and you take these front two incisors out and you send them into the lab to get tested uh, I've got an entire video on that it's very neat it's very cool um, but you know what you can get from that is an, is an answer for what you guess this deer to be so let's say I'm gonna I'm gonna look at this deer and I'm gonna say this is at least five and a half years old the m3 is is really got a big cusp and a bowl in the back the dentine is wider on the M3 than the enamel. Um, but let's say I sent these in and it tells me that this is a six and a half year old jawbone. What I can do is also take a bunch of jawbones that and send them all in. And then let's say I get this back and it tells me it is a six and a half year old. I can take that, put it to a board, screw it in there and say that's a six and a half year old for my area. And what you can do is over time you can build a board that will tell you half one and a half, two and a half, three and a half, four and a half, five and a half, six, whatever. Now the benefits to making that is you get to see like your your jawbones in your area and what it really is and what it can be to depict, um, you know, looking at that the next time you have a jawbone that's that similar. So without having to send the incisors in every time. Um, a lot of guys I know and a lot of guys from the QDMA will send in the incisors from every buck they kill that's two and a half years or older. Um, and then any doe that looks really, really old, they'll send in just for their own curiosity as they, uh, as they begin to you know, take down the information from their property. So there's a lot you can do with it. Just quick hand, if you want to, you know, try to get the best guess for the deer in your area, that's the one way to do it. Again, tooth replacement, under six teeth, it's a fawn, uh, has six teeth, but it's a premolar with, that is the baby tooth. So it has three crests on the P3. Um, that's going to be a year and a half old. If it has a, the permanent P3, then we look at the, the M1, if it's got nowhere, the dentine is not as, not as wide or wider than the enamel. We know that that's only a two and a half year old. And then we go on and so on and so forth. So guys, thanks for watching as always. I really hope you enjoy this video. Give it a like, give it a thumbs up and comment below what you, uh, you know, if you have any tricks or tips and what you do, uh, maybe on your property with your jawbones and, and how you age your deer. So thanks for watching.